society we call home. Shackles of cost will be for those who know the truth and loosen for those who can't see because they fear the thought of us being free. See, in this world, we worship the dead on little green paper like our creator. And we long for materialistic things not understanding the pressure that comes with it. See, they give us funds just to take it back because everything we do, we find out is later taxed. And the little funds we do have is used on things we don't need. Why do you think they made Target? Target, taken away, re-earned green, everyone typically needs, but this is the part of the world we don't see. And schools are the same way because only the highest scores get in. But what if they cheat? Oh, but it's only for them to look good, right? Even if somebody worked hard on the glass, we couldn't get it right. Scores didn't match up. See, the truth is, everybody gets judged. Then everybody make an excuse for it and call it tough love. That's how the story goes, right? We are black. So, as it was said, I am a product of Miami, just in general. I lived everywhere. Liberty City, Overtown, Little Havana, Little Layton, even in Broward areas. But I grew up without a father. I had a stepfather, no godfather. Very stereotypical, if you consider it that young black kid growing up, going to ghetto schools, the only difference is I wanted to be seen as different. I wanted to grow up and be somebody that somebody said, hey, I want to be like him. Around me, most of my friends, they decided to go after certain things that I wasn't into. Amen. When my stepdad said, you won't play football, I said, no, I won't be an actor. He said, no, you need something that's going to turn you into a man. I said, well, what's better than me acting? I could be different. If you want to see a man, let me do my performing. Because there is nothing in my words that say that I am less than a man. Amen. I remember uh, going to Mississippi recently on a deployment. It's a long story, but I was on a deployment recently. I decided to go visit my real dad in Mississippi. And I remember sitting in a car with him. He said plainly, he would never go to me or my sister's way. I asked him why. He said, why would I waste my time when I could be making money? Amen. So just then I was like, okay, cool. It's funny that you say that. Because the moment that me and my sister become something of ourselves, you're going to be running like that. Mm. Mm. See, as a kid growing up, a lot of things hurt you. And as you get older and go out into the real world, you find ways to stop and have a cold heart. Amen. And even though all of this was happening in my life, and believe me, there is a lot more. I never let that give me a cold heart. I never block myself. Amen. Off. I never block my talent. I never Amen. block the passions that I have only because there is one kid in there that is probably going through the same things that I was going through that Amen. I can help out in the future. Mm. So, aside of the sad stuff, before I cry. One more sad thing. Today is my little brother's birthday. He passed in 2007, and it's it's hard, but today is his birthday, so that's why I sound a little worse. But, aside of all the sad things that happened in my life, that never stopped me. I decided hey, after I got out of my deployment, I'm still in the military, just through National Guard. After I got back from deployment, I decided I'm going to take my own advice and actually go into what I want to do, which is acting. Full time. Full time actor, full time performer. Also sing and dance too. But I decided to go straight into it, and I auditioned for the school in California. I ended up getting in with one of the highest scholarships that they could probably give somebody. Um, military, of course, is paying for half. And there's a lot more that I have to do because I still have to raise money. So I put up a GoFundMe. So far, not many people have donated, but once again, everything that has happened in the past did not teach me to have a cold heart. It did not teach me to be rude or disrespectful to others. It did not teach me to treat everybody the same that they treated me before. Mm. Mm. The one thing it did teach me is to continue to have a hope. And keep it fighting for your passion. Continue being the person that you are, and one day it will lead you into doing what it is that you are meant to do. Amen. Amen. That is me.